Well guys, today's not really a roleplay video. Something different. We're not gonna do roleplay. Me and Buck, we're just gonna truck a little bit. Alright. Bring him in we're even bringing out the classic uh, little old outfit. <laughs> yeah, but all ah. Buck spent a bunch of time on the F series mod. If you, if you guys remember, it was a classic from FS twenty nineteen. And Buck brought it back and did a lot of different features on it. So with all due respect, Buck put tons of hours in this mod. I'll let him talk about it. So currently right now, the F-Series, as Grant stated, it is coming back. The only diff the main difference is the fact that it has nothing to do with anybody else now. I pretty much have done it from the ground up, not built the models, but the whole thing has been done from the ground up. So I now have complete control over making sure there's no errors, there's no nothing. It has changed from the 2020 model year to the 2017 and the eight 2017 to 19. So that's why it's got the different grill on it. But it's got loads of options. That's an extended cab. Currently, I don't know if you're going to go through any of the options. Truck's not done. I still got a lot, lot work to do, but it's got detachable beds like the 2014 Ram from the FS19. And, uh, for example, like Grant's got the F450 here. It's, I mean, it's got the heavy-duty Michelin tires on them. Uh, mine's got the Pirelli Scorpions. That's a new style of all-terrain tire. Nice, big, heavy-duty 265-70R18s. They're 18-inch rims. All the trucks are now scaled to the right size. Uh, this truck will be an XL through it, Lariat. No, because the extended cab does not go past Lariat with the trim packages and whatnot. It's got an eight foot box on it. I still have to get the tail lights on here, but there will be options for LEDs versus halogens. There's only LEDs in the rear right now. I'm currently working on getting some halogens. Wheel did retain from the Ram on there, so you can get the removable fifth wheel. It's got mud flaps, step sides two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, different rims. It's just all over the place. Tana, the Tana cover made its return, which that now opens and closes. I think I actually have that on here. Mm -hmm. I just press Z or whatnot, and that should unfold. Yep, it's unfold right now. Mirrors extend. Yes, they do. Mirrors, it'll extend and fold. I just got to turn on the truck. Mirrors will close, open and close. They also slide in and out, and they auto adjust to the back half of the trailer so you can see it better. Interior. What else? Interior yes. is pretty cool. In so if you go to the if you can oh, did it. you not put you put the uh, bench seat in here? I didn't realize that. Anyways, Buck put in a CB too in the roof. You got a CB here. So now when we ask if we have CB on, we actually got a CB in here. Um, everything else is pretty standard. You can change from cloth to leather in the interior, right, Buck? That is correct. Yeah. It doesn't like there's not a huge huge change in difference, but it's the mainly the seats you can see. There's a lot of interior, like, there's a lot of small stuff that really got tuned up. Like, if you got in here, you could see it on yours. Yeah. But if you turn on the truck, it's got all the gauges. All the gauges work. But now the turn stock works. The gap, the little, uh, the gear lever works. But if you look at the dash, the between forward and backwards, the reverse and drive actually change the light colors. Just a very overall heavy-duty truck. Uh, certain different features, like mine has the halogen lights up front. Grant's has the LEDs. There are two completely different separate light colors on them. So the LEDs will light up more of a whitish blue. Halogens will light up more of a yellowish orange. And the LEDs will see a bit further. So it's a lot of small fine-tuned things. Certain packages, we both have at least a premium package. I have an XLT premium. You have a Lariat, mm -hmm. which comes factory. But on the mirrors, if you get an XL or an XLT like base package, they have no running lights on the mirrors. Yeah, Those yeah. Are actually just and then suspension too. So if you buy the 250, it's gonna squat a lot more than the 350. And then if you buy the 350, it's gonna squat a lot more than the 450. It basically, like, it, All, it's, it towing capabilities is pretty darn realistic. Overall, I, it's just, it's I'm nice trying truck. to aim for this to be a benchmark. It's a, it's a, it's a gosh dang good truck. Uh, when we look through it too, uh, I'm going to run through options, Buck. Um, so you got F250, F350, F450 right here. Uh, tires, especially here's the F450 tires. So you can start with uh, maybe kind of a stockish rim to an aggressive, what do you call them, the Scorpions? Scorpion, uh, yeah, Scorpions are an all-terrain style of tire. Yeah, Scorpions, and then, and then you upgrade even more right there. XL, which is Buck's favorite. He's an XL guy. I don't know why he's an XL guy, but XLT. I don't need a butt warmer on my thing. <laughs> Lariat Premium. Um, and then tons of steps across here. Mud flaps across the front. You're probably wondering why isn't there in a, a bed. 
that comes separate. So what's going to happen is when you buy it, it's going to go down here, miscellaneous, and you can buy all of these beds that Buck made. They're all attachables. So what you'll do is you'll purchase it and then drive the truck underneath it and attach to it. So there's all sorts of beds here uh, from single rear wheel to uh, to dual rear, wheels. dual rear wheel to uh, pretty much everything. We can go aluminum on the uh, CM bed. It's pretty neat. But yeah, that's going to run down of the truck. Everybody's going to ask when it's coming out, Buck. When is it coming out? It'll come out when it's done and ready. This thing's <laughs> got a lot of potential to it, and I want to make sure it gets to its fullest extent. I can't put a date on it because I know I've not met a criteria one time and it was the worst mistake I ever did. So, at this point, it's we'll keep you updated. Okay. I've already, I know I'm also going to ask someone, I, someone in the comment section I saw, put a lift kit on it. Put a leveling kit on it. Put big fuel rims on it. No, this is a factory OEM truck. If you want to have your buddy mod it to do that, go right ahead. Buck. I am not doing that. Buck is a stock guy. He is a stock guy for sure. I'm already giving you a lariat package, all right? Be grateful. <laughs> yeah, and we, uh, God, I love the two-tone on these trucks. Looks absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. The the, red. Uh, that is another thing. The color palette has returned from the 2020. The only difference now is that it is not that metallic color that it was where all of them were, they seemed like dull. These are all now the regular paint colors. And then I added, I believe the Mustangs color palette. Let's go all buck. Let's put these right. to the desk. I might adjust the sounds. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it's got its mount. It's got a six, two gasser and the six, seven power stroke. It is mounted to a six speed automatic transmission, which I'm still kind of finicking around with. Do you, do you have the gas or is that the power stroke? Nope, we both have power strokes. Okay. So we got to go pick up, uh, there's a 8760, I think it was. A couple tractors sold, and we're going to go uh, pick them up and just haul them to the new owner. One notable change, hey, look at that, AI actually stopped. Uh, one of the biggest notable changes on the insides of the truck, which however many people actually listening to that skipping around in the video, uh, inside the trucks, when you have the gas versus the diesel, like I did with the Ram, the gauge cluster will adapt. In the Power Stroke, you have a 5K gauge cluster, and on the Gasser, you have a 7K gauge cluster. So that mm. is one big notable reality change, because usually if you see most trucks, they don't do that. But, yeah. you know, I'm Mr. Overload here, and I decided to do everything out of the... <clears throat> I think I see him up there. Ooh, There's a yes, 4240, 4440, and it... I think it's an 8760. So I'm thinking, uh, let's see. We're probably going to put the, the uh, dude, we're, well, I don't know if you're going to have trailer space, but we're probably going to put the 8760 on your trailer and then put the 4440 and 4240 on mine. See if the four. You must have gotten a big fat it. F in math class, didn't you? We'll see. Is she going to make her buck? Well, it's not like you're going to scrape it. <laughs> I think you should be fine. <laughs> I love the lead. Come on, just We're keep going. Gonna be good. Oh shoot, it really is leaning, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's scrape. It's close to scraping. Swinner wad. I guess you have a shorter trailer. Okay, we got to make room for both of us to load up here. True. Uh, I'll just turn around, so I'll be kind of going back down the outside. Oh shoot, I forgot how close the axles are on this thing. We adjust. Yeah, it's a little tight here. You're going to have a lot of tractor for your little truck there. I guess it is a 350. Some, of course you're going to make me have the one that squats it. Well, I mean, if we could fit both tractors, we could maybe fit the others on you. I don't know. Well, actually, I take that back. I have a lot. Well, of course, the axles are not rated for that, of course, the yeah. middle one. But I'll hop in the 87 and uh, load her up. You got your okay. parking brake on? Yes. Okay, you're going to need it. At least the axle's in the actual middle of the trailer, though, so that's that's the nice thing, yeah. is that when you yep. drive it, you put the tractor in the center, and it's in the center. Yeah. So, uh, this is... I just jumped on Mod Network. There's insane tractors on there. A 4240, 8760, and a 4755. And I was thinking, okay, somebody just, like, merged these, and they're going to be crap tractors. But they are amazing. Like, the sounds are awesome in these tractors, mm -hmm. especially the 47 over there. Uh, both of them. They're, they're all... I, I can't wait to farm with these tractors. Oh, yes. Okay. I think that tractor is good. You know, this is going to be a lot for a little 350 sing, single rear wheel. 
You ready? Uh, someone failed the math class on how to calculate weights, but we'll be good. Come on, boy. Well, well hold on. What weighs more? The 8760 or the 4240 uh, in the 4755? I think we need. Uh, well, well, either way, if you were to put one of those on mine and then put the other two on yours, just that one on the rear, that's what's more. That's what'd be more logical. But because I'm really only gonna be able to haul one on this thing. So what do you just want? Put it on. Do you, you want the 87? You sure? Let's just see how badly the back end okay. of this thing slams the ground. I'm probably gonna need a new leaf spring after this, but we'll be good. <laughs> the fact that I'm already seeing the back end start to slide down that does not reassure me. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Back it up. Oh, she is not liking that. Oh, it it's is leaning. Bad. I think we could dust it. Oh, it's not bad at all. Back it, back it up. Back it up. <laughs> I love seeing your truck. Keep going. Back, back, back it up. <laughs> Keep going. Look at the boat. Look at the jolt. Oh, it is lifting. Too far? It's, it's off the ground. It is off the ground. A little too much? A little too much. Keep going. No, don't keep going. Go forward. Keep going forward. Yeah. Yep. Keep going. Keep right there. Going. Keep going. Your tractor's gonna have to be almost in the middle of the trailer. Okay. Hit stop. Right there. Can pull forward here. Yep. We should be good. That's right on the money. Okay. It's honestly not squatting that much. No. Well, we got the weight distributed just right. I'd feel bad for the trailer axles. Yeah. Okay. Let's load these up here. Uh, we'll get the 42 first, and then we'll pull the 47 up there. I love this series. This is a mod network mod. It's open. Anybody can get it on PC. Probably. Well, that one in particular might be a mod hub mod. It might be. At some point. I don't. I can't really speak for that though, because I don't know console mods, and I know that Giants is fairly stickler on that. We, we looking good, Buck? Yep. You should be good. Just go straight on. There we go. Throw some straps. Yeah, to be fair, I mean, yours is obviously not, lower. It's not, well, your truck's also leaning, so. She's not squatting too bad. That 450's got a pretty solid suspension when it comes to towing, and I think it's got, from what I can remember, it's the stiffest, so it's gonna ride the roughest. True. But it should be, should be good. You ready to hit the road? Uh, probably as ready as I'll ever be. Oh, by the way, the brakes on these vehicles when they're under load, I have to turn them up, so. Feel free to try stopping way too late, because you're going to go right through the stop sign. Okay. Very good. Who's first? Okay. Uh, Maybe um, that was a little too much tractor for your trailer. I thought it would be better than just hauling. I thought it would be the best sport. I mean, it's it's holding up. It's okay. holding up. You go ahead, man. It's not DOT regulated, but well, yeah, it's probably a better idea. <laughs> you should okay, have an well, inch of brake on those. Should be pretty good. Yeah, you forget I'm driving a 350. True. So yeah, in case of accidents, let's have you in front of me. Because when this thing goes through the trailer, it's going to go right through the cab as well. Okay, we're getting on the interstate. This is gonna be bad. Hit the brakes. Oh, I'm adjusting they, my sock. They yeah. handle good besides for braking, I'd say. That's the only thing I know I gotta change and turn them up. Yeah. The brake force ain't that great on them yet. Thing is, I don't want them to be that where like, you step on the brakes and it goes from 70 to 20 and a half a second. Get oh, over. we got a car coming. Get we got a car mains. coming here. He ain't, he ain't getting over either. <laughs> You're God darn. You're flying, flying with that tractor. Oh no. Hey, that mirror's pretty nice, actually. Oh God, Buck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Holy crap. Come on, 350. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with it. I am trying. There you go. Woo. Okay, that was. That was un unexpectedly sketchy. I think you should have done the dually version, man, of the three 350. Maybe. Oh, all right, there's the brakes. We'll take a right here. 
Oh, that was a little stiff on the turning. I, the, the thing I love best about driving factor is the turning on this. Like when you turn, you can see the truck like kind of roll a little bit because of all the weight in it, the rear end. Mm -hmm. God, this 450 just looks dang good. Oh, this thing slid forward. Huh. Accomplished. I'm getting the 8760 for role play. The farming series so bad. I want it so bad. And then maybe a heck a 47 or a 4240. Um, okay, we'll unload these here. Back her off. This is a really nice tractor, though. Yeah, it is. They didn't really have any instructions of where to leave it, so. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed Buck's F-Series. He spent absolutely a ton of time on this. Probably, like... Still more to go. It's still probably, like, 80 hours on it. I, I, I can't even say. But I just wanted to make a full video it's, it's on it somewhere, somewhere around there. I'll, I'll, I just want to make a full video on Buck's F series because uh, eventually he'll release it, and he's putting tons of time in this. It's a heck of a mod. So seriously, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, hey, thanks for Buck for making this. He's been going ham at her.